All right, time to start balancing our first rations. We're gonna work with the Pearson square. Now, if you pull up on Blackboard Learn and module five, you will find the, the I think it's 5A. So this is gonna be activity 5A, the Pearson square, okay? And those are the problems that you're going to need to solve. And I truly believe the best way to learn the Pearson square is to just jump in and do one. So problem one is talking about balancing a ration that has a requirement of 16.5% crude protein. So this is our goal. That's what we're wanting to solve for. We have two feeds available to us. We have bakery waste. Ah, oh, I can't spell today. Bakery waste and alfalfa hay. And I do put the IFN or international feed numbers on the activity so that you can tell exactly which feed and verify that you have the correct feed. So 4400. Because sometimes, like especially with like alfalfa, there is a, a lot of choices. And so we need to make sure we have the right one. Okay, so the first step that we're gonna do for this problem is we gotta look up the data. So step A, we'll call it, is look up data. Okay, so we jump into the book. I'm sure you guys are learning, living, and loving this textbook by now. Okay. And I don't know if I've showed you yet in a video, but I actually have created little cheat sheets and little tabs so that I can flip directly to the pages that I need. Okay, so we're going to find, let me put this on this side here, bakery waste. That's our first feed. Um, I find that sometimes a ruler helps, but if we come down, here's bakery waste and verify that we have the correct um, international feed number right here, 400466. All right, and what we need to know is what percent protein it is. So when you're using the tables, you're going to come across and find crude protein. Bakery waste is 10.7% crude protein. All right, alfalfa hay and now we have several choices, but if we check our IFN number, we want the early bloom, which has the IFN number of 100059, and its crude protein is 18%. Now it's important to note, um, and just kind of as a reminder, that you always need to check how in the textbook data is presented. So this composition data is on a dry matter basis. And the problem is asking us to balance on a dry matter basis. So we always have to make sure that we are matching dry matter to dry matter or as fed to as fed. So if a problem asks for a dry matter basis, our data has to be in dry matter. If a problem asks for as fed, our data needs to be in as fed. So we gotta always make sure we're working in the same basis. Both of these are dry matter and the problem is asking for dry matter here, so that makes sure we're set up. So now that we have the data, we can move on to the second part. Okay, so the second part is actually to draw a square, and I'll do the problem itself down here and make the list of steps. So we're going to draw a square and we're going to put the requirement or the goal in the center. Okay, so we don't move the decimal, we don't do anything. We're just going to put 16.5, which corresponds to our goal uh, that we're trying to solve for. That goes in the center of the square. The next step is to put the feed composition 
on left corners. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether bakery waste is on top or bottom, you just have to keep it organized. So I'm going to put bakery waste on the top, and it was 10.7% crude protein, and alfalfa on the bottom, and it's 18%. Okay, again, we keep the numbers whole. We don't have to um, convert them in any way. And we're just going to, um, that's the beauty of the Pearson squares. It likes to keep things simple. All right, actually, I'm going to grab a different color. I'm playing with colors, too, of course. All right, so the next step is to actually subtract diagonally. Okay, so we're going to subtract diagonally. And when we do this, we want an absolute value. And if you remember way back when from high school math, an absolute value is just the difference. We don't care about the negative or positive sign. So when we do this and subtract diagonally, we're going to take um, the 10.7 minus 16.5, and that gives us 5.8. Because remember, it's absolute. We don't want to do that. Okay, so we don't care about negative signs. Then we're going to take 18 minus 16.5, and that's going to give us 1.5. So basically, what we've done here is we've now identified how many parts of the ration we have. Bakery waste is 1.5 parts, and alfalfa is 5.8 parts. So now we know proportionally how much each ingredient we truly need in this ration to meet the 16.5% protein goal. And so, next step is to total the parts. So we're going to add these up. So we have 7.3 total parts. And now this is where our um, the final step is the percentages. And this is where our handy formula of calculating the percentage comes in handy. So what we're going to do is take 1.5, the part over the whole, which is this 7.3. Those two times 100. We're going to take 5.8 divided by 7.3 times 100. So this is going to give us the percentage of bakery waste and alfalfa that goes into the ration. So 1.5 divided by 7.3 equals 20.55 so we're going to make sure we round appropriately oh sorry 20.55 always carry to two decimal places 5.8 divided by 7.3 equals 79.45% Okay, the last step with the Pearson square is you're going to, it's more of a note, is you're going to read across. Okay, so while we subtracted diagonally, we actually read across. So the final ration is bakery waste. is 20.55% of the ration dry matter. Alfalfa is 79.45% of the ration dry matter. So if I was to give this to someone to formulate, we can now formulate a ration because we know the, the appropriate ratio of the two ingredients. Just a note, these are all going to be done, except I think one of them asks for an as-fed basis. 
but all of these are on the dry matter basis. Eventually, we are going to convert to as fed, but we don't have to do that on the first couple of problem sets. We're going to work on that a little bit later in this module. But this, so if you're asking the questions of what numbers do I need to turn into Blackboard to get my point so that I can achieve the desired grade I want in this class, these are going to be the numbers you're posting. Okay, so um, I'll post the question and ask you what proportion is bakery waste. You would put in 20.55. And that's it to a Pearson square. So we're first going to look up the data. We're going to draw a square and put the requirement in the center. We're going to put the feed composition, so the percent of the nutrients on the left corners, subtract diagonally, total the parts, calculate the percentage of each feed, and read it across to get our final solution. So go ahead and take a minute and do the other uh, Pearson square problems and then come back and start the algebra. So give it a try and see what you can come up with.